The strong will survive. That's how Gila Ridge baseball head coach James Kuzniak describes the AIA 6A division, the same one in which the Hawks are trying to make the state play-in tournament. All wins are much needed at this point, but taking down another local foe in the San Luis Sidewinders would be a big help in their playoff push. Over to Gila Ridge, Hawks looking to boost that playoff resume as they welcome in the 19th ranked Sidewinders of San Luis. We begin in the top of the first. Sidewinders up by one, runners on second and third. Javier Rochin at the dish, and boy, does he get a hold of this one. Cranks this off the center field wall. Both runners come in to score. Sidewinders deal the first big blow in this one. They take a 3-0 lead. Now Caleb Rosado leading off. Sends this to center field. Ernesto Ochoa makes the dive, but he can't come down with it. Nearly a web gem for Ochoa there, but instead a single for Rosado. Later, Hawks down 3-1. Luke Falpe at bat. Runners on second and third. He lifts this out to deep left, and that'll get down. Falpe with a Clutch A.B. right there. Gila Ridge wasting no time answering in this one. They clap back at the Sidewinders three-run inning with one of their own. Top of the second now. Sidewinders have answered to go up 5-3. Jesus Pisani up for San Luis. Grounds over to second. Juan Pablo Chavez comes over from third. That throw beating Chavez by a mile, but somehow he slid in safe there. Sidewinders celebrate after the controversial call from the ump. Nonetheless, it gives them a 6-3 lead. San Luis adds one more as they go on to win this one by a final of 7-3. Sticking on the diamond, the Kings on a four-game win streak, tied with Buckeye for the Central Valley region lead, welcoming in the Washington Rams for a warm afternoon doubleheader. Kings holding on to a small lead in the fourth, but Sebastian Villegas wants to open it up a little, ripping this pitch into the left center field gap and down for a hit, and it keeps on rolling as Jose Castro comes around to score, and Villegas easily scoots into third with a triple. The Kings add on two more from an error and open to lead the six. Fast forward to the fifth here. The hits just keep on coming. Here's Jose Castro crushing this, offering into left and over the outfielder's head. Castro rolling into second with an RBI double to extend the Kofa lead. Later in the inning, Nathan Roldan poking one through the left side as Villegas comes sprinting into the plate. The Kings go to the sixth, up by nine, leaving a comfortable lead for Daniel Zazueta. Taking the mound in this one, and he would cruise through the fifth and sixth innings, getting another strikeout looking here by painting the corner to end the inning. The Kings would walk it off as a run rule on a wild pitch in the bottom half, winning 13-3 for their fifth straight. And they would go on to win game two, 11-0. They now take the number one spot in the region. Here's Coach Gabe Ortiz on their plan of attack to make it back to the state title with the special group they have. It's one of those things where we, t we take it day by day. We control the next pitch of the first game, and that's something that, like I said, we have to take care of what we need to take care of. When people ask how the season's going, the first thing I say is we're, we have really good human beings. Um, they're a great group of kids. We started in August, and they come out, they, they post up, and, and they put in work. It's a fantastic group of kids, and it's, it's a pleasure to come to the field or, or work, so to speak, and work with them each day. The Kings host Cibola in a crosstown battle tomorrow night, followed by their biggest game yet at Buckeye coming on Saturday. That's all the time we have for sports.